Hello everyone, this is Michael from Blue Sky Bio. In today's tutorial, I will be presenting the online Blue Sky Bio viewer. The viewer can be used to view STL files and the relevant cases. In addition, it can also be used to view the liner digital plan and the relevant teeth sequence and their movements for those aligner cases. The online viewer can be launched from our new Bio Big Box interface. So in this tutorial, I will be presenting the viewer, how to launch the viewer, the different features and the functionalities. I will be discussing the best and easiest and fastest way of getting the relevant files into BioBigBox for viewing and for sharing. And then finally, we'll be discussing how to export the files from Blue Sky Plan for a digital aligner case in order to upload the files to BioBigBox and the viewer. If you're not yet familiar with BioBigBox, BioBigBox is our HIPAA compliant file transfer, share, and storage platform. And what's great about BioBigBox, similar to most of our other products, it's freemium, meaning you could get started at no charge. We give up to three gigabytes of storage for free. And then if you want to upgrade to get a more advanced functionality or more storage, then you can go ahead and do so. In addition, as with all our other Blue Sky Bio digital products, if you have an account for one of them, you have an account for all of them. So if you're already using LabPronto, for example, then you already have a Bio Big Box account, same with Blue Sky Meet and everything else. So go ahead and sign in with your single Blue Sky Bio digital account or connect through your Google or Apple account and you can access Bio Big Box and get started immediately. So we could see here that I have the folder segmented files for viewer and if I click on that we can see the relevant STL files within the folder and if I go back select the folder and then click launch online viewer then it's simple as that a new window will open and the files will be displayed We now have various options on our left hand side. We could toggle on and off a grid and as well as the axis. The orientation can be rotated similar to the 3D view in Blue Sky Plan. Simply hold down with your left mouse button and just grab and drag. We have the widget in the bottom left for fast rotation as well. We have different features and functionalities that are visible when you click show hide. You can now see the list of the relevant STL files. The file that's highlighted in yellow is the active file and simply just grab the slider to change the transparency. You could use the eye image to toggle the visibility of the relevant STL file on and off and of course the garbage can in order to delete it. If you scroll down to the bottom if you want to add additional STL files to the view simply click on the plus navigate to the relevant STL file and it will be added to the screen. We also have the ability to see the relevant measurements for the selected STL file. So if we go ahead and click on an STL file, then we could see the measurements for the relevant file. So viewing aligner files in the viewer works the same way. You have the relevant folder with the files in it. And as I mentioned earlier, we'll discuss how to upload the relevant files and then simply check the checkbox for the folder containing the files and then click launch online viewer. The files now appear in the viewer. I could click the play button to see the teeth movement. I could reset simply by clicking on zero and clicking play again and I also have the widget in the top left that gives me the different orientations for visibility. We can also click on the options for upper and lower to see just the upper or just the lower and see the relevant teeth movements with just one jaw visible. Now, if you wanna share the files in the viewer, simply go to the relevant folder, check the checkbox, and then slide over to the share option. It presents two different options. We have the share link to share the actual files and we have the view link to share the view. So you could click on either one of these buttons to copy the relevant link and then you could share it with the relevant people. 
Now we have an intelligent share system in BioBigBox. In order to make sure that the links do not get passed on or sent to people it should not be sent to, you can enter the relevant email address of the explicit people you want to share it with, and then the share links will only work with those particular individuals. Alternatively, if you do want to make the share public to anybody with the link, and of course you need to be careful with that, simply click make this file public. You have a confirmation that there's no personal health information, and then click confirm. And now anybody who has the links will be able to view or access the relevant files accordingly. So simply click on share, and now those view links and share links are public with anybody you share them with. Now uploading files or folders to BioBigBox is super simple. You can either drag and drop the files or folders into the rectangle that we have up here, or you could click Upload Files to select relevant individual files. You could hold down the Shift key to multi-select, for example. Or you could go ahead and click on Upload Folder, and then you'll be prompted to select the relevant folder, and it will upload the folder and everything inside of it. Now, my personal preference to upload files and folders, which I really think is the easiest and fastest way of doing things, is just to download and install the Sync app. And what you could see here is that you have some folders with the sync widget next to it. So what I do is I download it and I install the sync app on each one of my computers. And I could see that icon right here. And then I just save the relevant files and folders to the synced folder on that particular computer. You could see I have one for my laptop, one for my desktop. And then the files automatically sync and appear in my BioBigBox account. I could then click on the share option to share the files with somebody else. And this is really a great functionality. If you're sending your patients to be scanned in a, in a scan center, then you could just ask them to always just send you the files in BioBigBox. They could sync it from their computer to their BioBigBox account. And with a click, they could really just share the files with you. Of course, you'll get a notification to your email that somebody shared files with you, and they will automatically be added to your BioBigBox account. Once you have the Sync app downloaded and installed, it's super simple to have a folder set as your Sync folder. Simply right click, click Show More Options if it's not yet visible, and click Start Stop Sync with BioBigBox. You'll get a confirmation on screen, and then that's your Sync folder. Anything that you put into that folder will automatically sync to your BioBigBox account. And as we mentioned earlier, you could set up one folder on each computer that you have. All your data that's saved to the particular folder on the particular computer will be synced to your central BioBigBox account. To properly upload files to the viewer so that the gingiva and the teeth have the proper coloring, and of course we see the relevant teeth and gingiva movement as the user goes from step to step, each draw needs to be exported as two separate files, one for the gingiva and one for the teeth. We've automated the process in Blue Sky Plan that you could export the files in exactly the right format automatically. So if you go to Preferences and choose Orthodontics, we now have a new option, Export Separated Teeth and Gingiva. We have three options here. No separated models means that the gingiva and the teeth are going to be exported only as one model and not as separate files. And this is the standard setting being used to export models for a line of fabrication. We also have the new option of separated models only. So if you're only going to be placing the files into the viewer and you're not going to be exporting the models for liner manufacturing, then you would choose the, the option for separated models only. If you're going to be doing both, you want to export the files for the model for liner fabrication, as well as the separated gingiva and the separated teeth for the viewer, then choose the option for separated models extra. Of course, there's no extra fee involved for doing this. So simply click Separated Models Extra and click the OK button. Now that will become your default setting. Now anytime you export the models by the Export button, it will use that default setting to export the relevant files. If you selected the Separated Models Extra, then you'll have one folder for your normal models for a line of fabrication and a second folder for the separated files. The exported files will look something like this. You'll have your main folder with the relevant mandibular files, one for each step, 
and the relevant maxillary files, one for each step. And you'll have a separate folder called separated models. And here you will have for each jaw, for each step, you'll have two files, one for the gingiva and one for the teeth. Now, if you upload this folder or these folders to BioBigBox or have it sync automatically as I prefer to do, then in your BioBigBox account, you will see the relevant folders. Now, this folder is the folder for the separated models. And if I go back and select the relevant folder and click Launch Online Viewer, we will now have the files in the viewer and we can see the teeth movement along with the gingiva movement accordingly. As I mentioned earlier, to share this view and these files with an associate or whoever you want to be sharing it with, simply go to the folder, click the share option, and as I mentioned earlier, you have the option of sharing the actual files and you have the option of sharing the online view view link.